Hey, so I'm in my car again. Um, I literally just pulled into my driveway. Um, I just got back from the movie theater at my at the mall, and I just saw Hostels, the new western starring Christian Bale and Rosamund Pike, um, directed by Scott Cooper, who did uh, Crazy Heart, Black Mass, and Out of the Furnace. Basically, this movie is about Christian Bale, and he's this... Um, I don't know if it's a Union soldier or a conf I think it's a Union soldier. And he's basically forced by an order from the president to help move this Native American man and his family back to their home in Montana. And Christian Bale does not want to do this because the Native American man, he was responsible for killing several, several men that Christian Bale knew very well. And he does not like him at all. But he's basically forced to do this. Um, so he takes him, his family, and several other soldiers, and they trek from, I think it's New Mexico to Montana. And on their way, they meet Rosamund Pike, who, in the first scene of the film, her family has been killed by other Native Americans. And so, but Christian Bale says to her, you know, hey come with us, we'll take care of you, we'll make sure that everything is okay. And it's basically about them moving to Montana, making the trek to Montana. And that's basically the plot of the movie. Um, it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good Western. It's, it's good. I liked it. The, a big problem I have though is that it is very, very slow burning. The first 30 minutes, the first 45 minutes are just like, okay, come on, come on, come on, let's, let's get this moving. And I'm not one that usually checks my checks my phone for the time. During a movie, I usually, I wait until the trailers end and then the movie starts and check what time it is to see how many trailers there were. And then at the end of the movie, I check and see what time it is. The first half hour of this movie, I check my phone at least three times. It was just like, oh my gosh, but... I will say there's a bit where they come across this small town and that's really where I think the movie picks up at least at least for me it did um, but um, I thought you know I thought it was a good I thought it was a good movie I really did it was good it wasn't anything amazing or anything but I did think it was a solid Western um, the performances were really good Christian Bale is of course he's always fantastic Rosamund Pike continues to show that she's a terrific actress. Uh, Wes Studi, who plays the main Native American man, he was really good. And uh, and Ben Foster, who also shows up later on in the movie, he's also terrific. Um, and another person, I didn't know he was in this movie, he's not in it for that much, but uh, Timothy Chalamet from Call Me By Your Name and Lady Bird is in this. And he was also very good, even though he didn't get that much to do. And another thing... I realized there wasn't that much, you know, development with the characters. I felt there were a couple of bits with the characters, but in some places it was hard to get invested. It wasn't until the very end of the movie where I where I started to get really invested in the characters. Um, but I mean, those are my two big complaints about the movie. But I do think it's good. It is a solid western. I'm a big fan of westerns, so this. In certain spots, this hit all the right buttons for me. I thought the action worked well. It was very, very beautifully shot. It is violent at times. It's a, it, it's it's R-rated, but it is good. I think. I just it's nothing amazing, nothing spectacular. I don't know if I would buy it because, I mean, if it's if it goes down to five dollars, I might, but I'm not going to pay twenty twenty five bucks for it. There's no way. Um, but, you know, it's good. I liked it. It's got terrific performances, beautiful cinematography, well done action. Um, it's just a little slow. Like I said, it's a little slow. Um, but once it got going, it really got going. I thought it was really, I thought it was not really good, but it was good. I liked it. So, you know, on a four star scale and a letter grade, which is what I give most movies, I'd give this one three out of four stars, and I'd give it a solid B. Like I said, the only thing that, if it wasn't as slow and 
if it was maybe a little more, the, the characters were developed a little bit more, then I would have given this maybe a three and a half or four star review. I thought it was, like I said, it's good, nothing great, but you know, if you're interested in seeing it, definitely see it. It is worth seeing on the big screen because it is nicely, it is nice to look at. I mean, but anyway, you know, like I said, Hostels, it's good, it's just not great.